P38 because they reckon it was only half a car. Its owners swear by it, and certainly it was the only car in the world which could hold a 44-gallon drum in the boot, and some reckon you needed it. The P76 was born out of frustration. For years, the Poms had tried to make inroads on the Australian market with sensible little sedans such as the Hillman Minx. But Aussies wanted big sixes and V8s. So Leyland decided if you can't beat them, join them. But the timing of their launch of Australia's own British car was lousy. The energy crisis had already forced us into smaller vehicles, whether we liked it or not. The P76 was also plagued with quality control problems. It quickly became a white elephant on wheels. For Leyland, a time to forget, rather than a time to remember.